Black Sad, be careful. The guard's outside. If you get caught, I don't know what to do. It's hide. Shit. <laughs> okay, thank God for this retry because some of these choices are pretty hard to make. The hiding option is totally not on the table. So either I attack or ring the bell. And he has a gun, so I can't really attack either. So I'm going to ring the bell. What? Just where do you think you're going, putty kiss? <laughs> Two Great. sacred principles rule my life. The first is... Am I going to get killed? The love I feel for my family. Fuck. So it's better second, for me to get attacked. Never leave destiny in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. So and I should have attacked him? Principle, or better yet, a rule. If anything threatens either of these two principles, you I take, take matters into your own hands. Seriously, what just happened? Wow. Okay, I'll retry. Two sacred principles rule my life. The first is... The love I feel for my family. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him talk. The second... Never leave destiny in the hands of fate. I always play it nice and safe. The thing is, if I were and to attack, third principle, or better yet, a rule, I would still get shot by the panda. If anything threatens either of these two principles, I take matters into my own hands. The first either way, time that I someone died because of me, even though all I did was rat him out, well, that guy ended up in the Hudson River, right off Pier 27. He's got to be even wetter than that fish by now. You should have seen his face. It's but interesting what comes to mind when you think you're about to die. Suddenly all I could think about was how much I wanted a pet fish. You too, boy? Anyway, I was 14 years old, and I still dream about it. But it's real and it's up. By then, I was adamant about buying a fish. But, but first... That was that. Never again. Nowadays, whether it's me who pulls the trigger or not, I have zero regrets. What's more, I sort of enjoy it. Okay, so I'm gonna let him talk. And that definitely gives me more time to come up with how to get out of this mess, so. In case anyone had any doubts about who's the boss around here, I'll put my dirty feet on his luxurious table to prove that all of this is mine. Damn, Black Sad, I see how it is. The guy never hesitates to pull the trigger. Even if I hadn't seen what he did to Jimmy, I'd know he's not bluffing. Okay, so I got two more visual clues, so... Right here. His pupils are dilated, and there's a slight grin on his face. The bastard is enjoying himself. 
course he is. He literally just finished shooting a man. What do I... Ooh, the telephone. When a mob boss declares his love of family, it can only mean that A, he won't hesitate to ruin yours, and B, he's cheating on his wife. Damn. I knew I had it in me to get out of that place alive. So what should I say, Black Sad? Oh, deduction! Okay. So... Let me look at the, the things here. Mary's been at Yale's place recently. O'Leary is threatening Stone with ruining Moore's career. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? O'Leary always plays it safe. Yale souls don't match the footprints at the gym. O'Leary claims to love his family unconditionally. Weekly took very explicit photographs of the rhino and his lover. Oh! Oh! O'Leary bet 5,000 on Yale. O'Leary's feet on the table, a sign of dominance. Yo, interesting. I could do this. Uh, what should he do? Hmm. Maybe this one. No. O'Leary's wife is having an affair with Colbert? Should I serve this to O'Leary on a silver platter? Yes. I'll threaten Colbert so he'll get me out of this mess. And, well, that's it, I think. <laughs> you know, Black Sad, I never made it this far. Congratulations, you're going in style. I didn't want to interrupt you because I respect you and your word, but I'm actually here to help. Your wife is having an affair with Colbert. What? Me? Bingo! Bingo! <laughs> well, here's the thing. I don't respect your word. And since you brought me no proof... Check my coat pocket, on the right. Bingo! Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Black sad, black sad, black sad. Do you really want to kill me now? Uh, oops. <sighs> Thank you very much. Oh well. And One less person to deal with. Jumping to conclusions. First, you get a random beating from my man. Mm -hmm. And now this. Although you have to admit I had my reasons to be suspicious, you ran away from Yale's apartment, didn't you? But as you well know, you can't trust anyone in this world. Take it. It's only fair. Thanks. I'll make good use of it. <laughs> a word of advice. Make bad use of it. It's more fun. Shit, I need the money anyways. Plus, I almost got killed, so I might as well just get paid for emotional damages. Oh, Black Sad. Yeah. Aren't these odd hours to pay me a visit? Your message was important, but certainly not urgent. It could have waited until tomorrow, don't you think? Don't look at me. This was Colbert's idea. Which he can't defend. I wish I was a noir fiction writer. At this very moment, I could write a couple of pointed, ironic remarks for the narrator to recount what I just lived through. The dark, crooked alleys of New York reminded me of the state of my own soul. Hmm. No. 
Fall loomed over me with the... Fall struck me with the full force of my long-lost youth. <clears throat> nah, not that. Oh, oh shit! With the full weight of a guilty conscience. Who the hell's beating me up? God, that's worse. And a shame. Okay, so I got two people now. Two people trying to beat my ass. What the hell, bro? Who is it? Come on, come on. No! I almost got killed once. I'm not gonna try and get killed again. And who are these two knuckleheads? What were you thinking? He wants him alive. Okay, so let me see. Let me see. Come on. Come on. Ooh. I felt fall seep through my bones like the pain of a good beating. <laughs> Mediocre, but appropriate. And here is the tennis superstar. Against at all her odds, work. next morning I got up bright eyed and bushy tailed. And I had my kind, unknown assailants to thank. The beating had taken its toll, but for the first time in months, I had slept like a baby. Damn, that bad, huh? Oh, come on, Helen, focus. All right, take part. We'll work on that double backhand later. Come on, Helen. You need to talk to me. Well, Mr. Blackmore, what can I do for the FBI? Oh, what should I say? Cooperate with law enforcement. All you have to do is talk. I like to speak through my actions, but still, could you be more specific? She sounds cute. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I got beat three times, almost got killed Maybe twice. If we could speak in private. Alec! Coming! You've got four minutes, Mr. Blackmore, so... Make them count. Four minutes? That's all I need, then. They say you're currently involved with Al Stone, the boxer. Is that correct? Wow. The FBI sure knows what it's doing. So, out of the 100 million Americans who know about that, who did you extort to get such highly confidential information? Don't beat around the bush. We know why you're with him. Oh, so you like his biceps too. Desmond O'Leary asked you to seduce Stone. Why? What? No, I met Al by chance at a party. Shut the hell up. A Stop party lying. party hosted by Desmond O'Leary. Mm-hmm. No, that can't be. No one is that shrewd. Not even him. Damn, I hate that bastard. Damn. She went in. We know about you and Desmond O'Leary. Wow, your sagacity never ceases to amaze me. Wait, I get it. They must wrap your FBI sandwiches in gossip magazines. The thing is, well... <sighs> you see, I'd love to wipe out that part of my past, but... Whatever. Do you have any regrets? Ads pay more than trophies. Can you believe it? Being associated with such a shady character could only damage my reputation. Trust me, never get involved with a married man. Right, right. Speaking You're of... You aware of at least six rigged games during your first year as a professional player. Yep, speaking and of damaged reputation. You won all of them. Are you trying to offend me? No. I give my all on the court. Shut the I can't hell up. be held accountable if my rivals don't do the same. Go interrogate them. In any case, now I know why you mentioned O'Leary. What do you really have against him? And don't say illegal gambling. Hey, 
O'Leary is a murderer. Every criminal organization has blood on his hands. His is no exception. And we have proof. I'm serious, Miss Moore. America can't afford to let anyone shake its foundations like that. And America's sweetheart can't afford it either. Help us out. Talk to us. Then why should I, Mr. Blackmore? What do I stand to gain or lose? The FBI always returns a favor. Oh yeah? Are they gonna rig my games? This is actually quite simple. And she's a smoker, let me see. She's probably hella scared. Ooh, who gave that to her? Who gave that to her? I'm curious. One lucky gal. You have a light, sir? <laughs> Look at her with that doofy-ass smile. The pearly white teeth of someone who barely smokes. Am I making her nervous? Yep, you are, actually. You really are. Damn. I'm almost out of fluid. Mm, guess I am Wanna out. know my trick? Go down to start, then up with it, and then down again. Down, up, down? Oops. Will I get to smoke today? Okay, okay, I got this. Oh, fuck Will me. Will I get to smoke today? Shut up! I hate this pressure. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. I don't know what you want me to say. You're trying the to frame O'Leary, perhaps rightfully so, but I think you're barking up the wrong tree. Believe me. If I had the slightest... Come on, Helen. <sighs> Time to work on your backhand. Let's go. <sighs> Do you smoke? Nice meeting you, Mr. Blackmore. Did you bring my water? America's sweetheart gave you her cigarette? Dear God, she has the hots for you! Look I at can't him. I believe you said good old weekly to investigate that stupid walrus while you were hanging out with Helen Moore herself! Are so, you mad? What do you say, you and me, we change places next time, huh? Your turn. Now tell me, what did you find out? Ah, you're gonna love this. You ready? I've got yeah. news. But I happen to also have a pla Black Sad. He's up with that hole, isn't he? What? Who is Oh, Mrs. Colbert. I told him I knew all about it, you know, after our chat. He cried and asked me to forgive him. He said he was gonna leave her, that he loved me, and it was over. But last night he got a phone call. He's Nobody's dead. I've seen him at work since yesterday evening. He left with her, didn't he? Tell me the truth. I can handle it. I don't know how to put this, but uh, your husband is dead. He had an affair with his boss's wife. I'm guessing you know who I'm talking about. He found out and killed him. Mrs. Colbert? Damn, she's speechless. Damn, you just gonna hang up on uh, her like that? But what just happened? Is there anything you didn't tell me? Maybe, but now it's your turn. Tell me about Cassidy. Uh, 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 Come on, spit mm. it out. I didn't find anything suggesting that Cassidy had anything to do with Dunn's murder, but... That's quite the tale. But I know Cassidy will be playing poker tonight with one Howard M. Farnham II, a Texas tycoon looking to get his claws on the boxing business. 
I also know that he and Cassidy have never met in person, and that Farnham, who's staying at the Balford Hotel, hasn't left his room. Apparently, he spent the night with three bottles of bourbon. So, here's my incredible plan. I'll go to the hotel. <laughs> I'd knock him out. Huh. And then take his place in the poker game. That way, I'll get Cassidy talking. What do you think? Incredible, right? Huh? Huh? Uh -huh. Wouldn't we agree that you would handle Helen more while I dealt with Cassidy next time? No? Where are we? And also, so far, the fact that I was able to save myself by putting someone under the bus like that, I mean, I feel bad, but at the same time, oh well. Oh, look at Black Sad with his little suit on. I see you, big boy. Look on point. Who are we seeing? Who's that? Oh, shit. Good afternoon, Mr. Farnham. What's going on? Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, right here. Room service. I've brought the bottles you ordered. I didn't order me no drinks. And you're not wearing the hotel uniform. Fuck. Move on, you drunk. Hmm. Hmm. I mean... Retry? Yep, let's retry again. Good afternoon, Mr. Farnham. What's going on? Allow me to introduce myself. John Blackmore. I work for Frank Cassidy. He asked me to bring you these bottles so you could choose which one you prefer for the gang. Oh, sure. I was fixing to leave, but I guess them monuments ain't going anywhere. <laughs> well, come on in then. Getting in this room was easy. Earning his trust was another story. I always have an ace up my sleeve. Blackmore? You okay, partner? The best way to earn someone's trust is to make them believe they've earned yours. And sometimes, the best way to fake it is to tell the truth. I, what? I don't know where to begin. They killed my girlfriend. And no matter how hard I try, I just can't let go. And those bastards paid for what they've done to you, boy. They paid. Well, good. Honor's being restored, and sure enough, our good lord will see to it that they burn in hell. You need to move on, partner. Plenty of lookers out there. Find yourself a charming lady friend, even if it costs you a pretty penny. One of the tricks of this trade is to be wary of the biases we all have. They cloud our judgment and blur the person in front of us, painting them with the shades of our preconceived notions of who they should be. But every once in a while, you run into someone so locked in personality that they can only be regarded as a stereotype. Farnham was a disgrace, not only to himself, but to Texas and the entire human race. Damn. To think I had to impersonate him. I wish I was like you. You seem so content, so free of burdens. Stop right there, partner. You think this old dog don't have ticks? Let me tell you something about my first wife. Woo-wee! Once I had gained Farnham's trust... Nice. The hard part was deciding what I needed to know to become him and not get myself killed. I need a haircut. ASAP, so I can look fresh. What can I do for you, sir? Howdy. My name's Howard M. Farnham II. Okay. Should I know you? What can I do for you, sir? I'm here to play me some poker. 
You got the wrong place, sir. No, I don't. You missed the barbershop sign above the door. You have a good evening, sir. Shit. Wait, uh... I gotta retry again, huh? All right, let me retry. The hard part was deciding what I needed to know to become him and not get myself killed. All right, so let me do this again, and I'm going to try the other options. You know, I like the fact that I'm able to retry certain situations, because it seems like the game really wants me to succeed in this case, so... What can I do for you, sir? Farnham was one hell of a drinker. I had to get the information out of him before he drank himself unconscious. Otherwise, Damn. I'd have to find that information myself. Damn. Find the requested info before the time runs out. Oh, Lord, have mercy. All right, let me see. Let me see. Right here. Open. Thank you. Farnham's What's that? address book. Who knows what kind of shitty characters are in there? Farnham's address book. Okay. Who knows what kind of shitty characters are in there? So there's nothing else for me to click, basically. Okay, bye. So address book? Is that it? I'll take that, thank you. No, but for real, is that the only thing At least I can it's comforting take? To know that when Farnham drinks too much, his female companions have less of a hard time. Well, I'm afraid I'm no mind reader. Wait, uh... This is gonna be a lot harder than it looks. Let's retry again. The hard part was deciding what I needed to know to become him and not get myself killed. I like how Black Sad can nail his accent to the T, though. I'm pretty impressed with this detective. He really has some good skills. What can I do for you, sir? Okay. Howdy. My name's Howard M. Farnham II. Okay. Should I know you? What can I do for you, sir? Farnham was one hell of a drinker. I had to get the information out of him before he drank himself unconscious. Otherwise, I'd have to find that information myself. Bro, I have to do this all over again? Okay, let me do something different. No, nothing here. Right here. Ding Dong? Interesting name for a town. Okay, and then what then? Oh, Billy Bob! Yes, 9 p.m. Yes, I got a Vietnamese shave last night. Oh, please, come in. Of course, I remember you. Take a seat. Bro, no you don't! I'm, yo, his memory is so shot, it's so funny. Oh, shit. The classic blade. Chill. I'm sure you'll understand we can't be too careful. Our host has many enemies, and someone has to keep them at bay. Sure. I get it. I'm glad to hear that. Now, please answer my question. How much does it cost to get yourself a clean Vietnamese shave? Shit! Put the nail on the coffin of my first marriage. You know, the wife that caught me cheating with the maid. <laughs> my second marriage, too. You know what I did to her daddy? Same old, same old with several mistresses. 
So to I him, to he is living. Deal with hookers, even if I did end up <laughs> marrying some. <laughs> I feel you, Mr. Farnham. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm betraying my boss by saying this, but Cassidy's bad news. You're not, boy. He's in the boxing industry. I mean. He won't play a fair game, but I can tell you his trick for a small share of the winnings. What well, I care if I lose. If you knew how much I paid just to get in the game, you'd chew off your own pants. <laughs> Pick your teeth with your belt buckle. It's just petty cash to me. Petty cash, to be honest. I asked you how much. Of course they gave me one of the seats. What do you think I am, boy? Wait, I'm, I'll, I'll show you. I, I got it somewhere. Just a sec. I'll get it. Yeah, show me your receipt so I can tell the amount to the barber because he's literally about to slit my throat, bro. Put, put it over. Over. Uh, I think he's. Uh, I'll be right back. Shit, he's knocked the fuck out, bro. I would search the receipt in his clothes at this point. And I have so little time, too, to figure this shit out. Nothing? What about here? Wait, what about... Hold on. Ding Dong? No! name for a town? No, I'm not trying to... Fuck. Okay. Is there nothing for me to look at? Shit, come on. Oh, right here. I have no time. What's this? Can I look? How much? How much is this haircut? 20,000? Why didn't you just say you had the receipt in your pocket? Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.